Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for mid-November 2020. Um, I'm calling these my mid-month minis. I'm trying, wow, 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 I'm loving it. So these, guys, stick around, wow, this might be the best reading so far. Um, but yeah, so you're going to get a little quick reading here as to what is going on for the rest of the month for you. Um, you can also make sure you hit the subscribe button to, um, you know, get notified, the little bell thing to get notified when I have my mid-month, um, my monthlies, my mid-months, the new moon, the full moon, and I also go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single week. So, I'm going to have to clarify this five of pentacles, so give me a second. I also have five um, spots open for my From Pain to Power mentorship. So if you're interested in learning how to take your power back after toxic relationships, you can wait till the end and I'll give you some more information on that. All right. Wow. So we've got the Ace of Swords as your overall energy. So there can be a lot of inner healing going on here. A lot of inner work. A lot of rising to the top is what I'm hearing. To continue this energy, you then have the Ace of Wands and the World card. So I feel as though like everything is at your fingertips right now. Everything that you want, I feel the word manifestation is coming to me. So I feel as though you have been working towards manifesting something, even if you're not aware of that's what you've been doing. But it's kind of like wishing for something and trying to get something, you know, into your life here. But what happens is we've got the five of pentacles and clarified with the eight of pentacles here so this is telling me that you know with endings there's with new beginnings there's endings and the world is an ending and the aces are beginning so realize that in order for you to get what you want you've got to let go of some things and it might feel and unfortunately sometimes it's not you letting go it could be other people letting go so that's what this five of pentacles is all about it's about um you know, feeling like left out in the cold and the eight of pentacles to clarify it. So I do feel like you are working towards something. You're working towards your goal. You're working towards your manifestation. And unfortunately, in order to get that, you're going to have to sacrifice some stuff or let, you're not letting it go. It's, it's letting itself go. So this could be like people feeling like your vibration has shifted and they're just not in alignment with you anymore. Um, you know, this could be growing apart in relationships and unfortunately it makes you feel like alone and especially when you're healing and stuff, like there is an isolation period, we call it the hermit period, where you do go into a little bit of isolation because you need to know yourself before anybody else has any kind of influence on you. So you kind of need to isolate yourself so that you can start to know yourself better without the influence of other people around you and also their energy. So um, definitely important to realize that, yeah, it might feel like you're kind of left out in the cold, but there's a reason. And believe me, when you let people go, um, even if it's their choice, you're making room for new. Okay. And there we go. We got the enlightenment card. So this is your solar plexus chakra. Uh, so really, um, you know, pay attention. This seems like that. Let me know in the comments below. But like this feels like... Um, for some of you, I'm going to say it's not all of you. They're strongly telling me it's not all of you. For some of you, this is a, a spiritual awakening. But for many others of you, you're evolving even more. So you've already had your spiritual awakening. But now you're like evolving and evolving and evolving. And like you're really, um, you know, raising that vibration and understanding yourself and healing. And people around you don't recognize you anymore because you're not the same person that dealt with or settled for things in your life you're not that person anymore and you're moving more towards enlightenment here and when you do that the people that have their eyes closed or the people that don't understand what's happening that are still stuck in their ways and they're judgmental like they're going to stay back there and they're going to feel very uncomfortable around someone that is reaching enlightenment you know, and they're going to back away and create distance. And this can make you feel like left out in the cold. All right. But this is beautiful energy. So basically don't sacrifice your life for someone who can't take, um, you know, where you're going, can't support you because of their own insecurities and what they've been through. But they're also not willing to do that work. 
All right, so I hope that makes sense with you. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the mid-month minis. <laughs> and also, if you're interested in my From Pain to Power mentorship, it is an eight-week deep healing program where I take women through healing after toxic relationships. So we're really diving into the childhood, healing our childhood wounds, um, and really understanding and identifying and shifting the energy of how our childhood has affected us and why we do the things and how we feel today. So you're really transforming your limiting beliefs. You are releasing the energy of the past. You are building confidence, setting boundaries, and really taking your power back in your life. So if you're interested in learning, if you are a good fit for that, you can check the link down in the description box and in the comments below. All right. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can follow me over in Facebook and do not sacrifice your journey of enlightenment for people that are not on the same journey or 